Thank you guys for coming today. Uh, I'm going to talk about coffee primarily. Um, and we're going to do a bit of a, a background in coffee, a bit of history, so we can build up your knowledge base. And then we're going to go over to the machine and we're going to make a coffee. So how does that sound? Fab. Fantastic. Great. Mm, excellent. Now, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Wayne. I work with Ake and this is part of my Cert 4 training. So, let's kick it off. So just some stats about coffee consumption in Australia now, that annually each of us consumes nearly three kilos of coffee, which is almost four billion Four-day cups spend. per year, mm. eight billion dollars spent. And trending now, we tend to drink more at home than we do outside. In fact, the retail coffee market shrunk by about 23% in the last five years. Um, we are the 28th biggest consumer of coffee in the world, and that's with the board, so it's growing every year. And unfortunately, <coughs> most of our, or fair bit of our coffee is in disposable cups, which we throw away about a billion a year, which is not great for the landfill. In an average cup of coffee, there's 100 beans. It takes five years for the tree to become productive, or the plant. And um, when you roast the coffee, it, it shrinks and then it can bat, so it's a pretty, pretty interesting process. Two types of coffee beans. So there's Arabica beans, which are considered the, the premium beans. Um, they're more high altitude, they're more flavorful. And then there's Robusta beans, which are low altitude, and they're, they're probably the cheaper of the two. But some people like Robusta if they like strong coffee, it's a strong bean. So, so it just depends. A lot of Robusta in some parts of Europe, like Italy, and when Arabica is in a lot of countries like Australia and the States. And this leads us to types of coffee. So what sort of coffees um, that we can make. So I've got a little video that I'd like to play. If I can get this right. And this is going to tell us about the different styles of coffee. First thing we're going to do is uh, make an espresso really important that uh, we uh, extract the coffee, express the coffee. We are using a nice Domo Zucker Strider coffee machine. You can see it, nice golden color. At the moment, this is full of crema. This is our espresso. Like mother's milk, liquid gold. <laughs> what you have to do is basically, in, in Italian it means you're staining the coffee. So basically, we're gonna stain the espresso with a little bit of froth, milk crema, Extracting to a perfect 23, 24 seconds, our coffee needs this color, a golden crema. Without this golden crema, your coffee is not a coffee. As you can see, how shiny and beautiful it is. That's your maggiato. In your now it's you've got about a finger deep <coughs> crema of the milk. The reason for this. You get a little bit more milk into a latte. It's all in the pouring. Can you do that now? In a cappuccino, it's basically 30% coffee, 30% milk, the rest is all froth. In a shop environment, when we're doing a cup, a cappuccino is always served in a cappuccino cup, preferably ceramic. As you can see, it's got a little bit more of a dime on top, so the cappuccino's got more froth in it uh, compared to a latte. So this is our cappuccino. Even if you shake it, you won't spill it because it's full of froth on top. It originated from Australia, so I was uh, almost piccolo latte. Same thing, piccolo latte is a smaller latte. Uh, same amount of coffee, less milk. This is your flat white. Nitro coffee is basically a uh, cold brew with nitrogen in it. Nitrogen basically what it does, it gases it. You can see the pouring method. Coffee is coming down, it's gonna turn into a nice black liquid underneath. You're gonna get a nice little beer head on it. This is our nitro brew. Guys, as I said, we've made the six of the most popular coffees around the world. We've got our espresso, our macchiato, our flat white, latte, and our cappuccino, followed by our most famous nitro brew coffee. Our pleasure doing these coffees. 
for you guys. Hockey is the best in the world. Hockey is life. Peace out. Okay. Any questions? I've never coffee. seen a nitro coffee. No, no neither have I. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Well, stuff. I have some questions for you guys, so it's quiz time. So <laughs> there should be a sheet on your desk there, and I'd like you to fill out the answers as you go, please. <clears throat> so, first question How was coffee discovered? Or by which animal? Joe, milk is not right. <coughs> Monkey. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an answer. So. Not the right answer. So I'm going to give you the answer after this one. So oh. by question by question. So. Um, Just don't give it to Ellie. <coughs> oh, you're recording, sorry. <laughs> I thought it was elephants and it was in their food. Could be. I'm going to go to that. Can you just think about how much poop comes out of an elephant, though? But I thought it was something to do with that. Or was it monkeys? Monkeys? No. Okay, so monkeys. <laughs> I'm going to go elephants. Elephants? I've got monkey goats. poop, so... Oh, monkey. Well. Is it monkey? Monkey right, poop. you ready for the answer? It might surprise you. Where did you find the poop? <laughs> oh, 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 my God. God. That was actually my goat. It's goats. Goats. He's goats. So you know, Way too much coffee there, so. Wow. So, question two in our coffee quiz. Oops. I remember the thinking of trees. No. <gasps> Joe. I thought that was an Australian thing. No. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Well, you go. Don't copy me. Hello. You go somewhere. You like tell them for him, but that's okay. <laughs> so, ready for the next answer? Americans like to call their coffee. Yeah. Oh, nice. So, a few different theories how this came about, but the most common one is it's just the merge of two words, two other slang words to get a joke. Mm. Question three. True or false? The world's most expensive You've got this one, Annie. A harvest trip from, harvest trip from, poop. True or false? <clears throat> So it's oh. called Kopi Luwak and it's harvested from partially digested beans that are eaten and chewed by an animal called the civet, which is kind of a cat like animal. So it looks very cute there, but unfortunately. Does it smell like coffee? Oh no. This is how they do it, so. Oh, not a fan. Not a fan either. No pick coffee for us. That's a paid political announcement too. That's <laughs> okay. Now, if you're paying attention to the video, mm. you would know what an espresso coffee is. That's not 30 seconds, isn't it? I think it's 22 seconds. Um, so go... That is a brewing method of forcing water through coffee. Think about your coffee machine. What do you do? You is do it a type of coffee bean? Coffee yeah. beverage or a coffee, another coffee beverage. Mm -hmm. So, our that's answer right. is a brewing method. A brewing method. So that's, what it, that's when we put the coffee in the group and we tap it down and we put it on, water comes through the coffee. So it's just basically that simple. And that's how most coffees are made in Australia, it's either instant or all that. So, And a lot of people think espresso is a bean, but it's just the way the coffee's mm -hmm. made. And a latte, another question from our video. Mm -hmm. mm. I that one too. I won't see it. You just copied me. I think I circled it first, so. <laughs> I just had it circled. So, a latte, as opposed to a cappuccino, is steam. Yes. Steam milk. And espresso. So it's, it's it's similar to a flat white, um, where a cappuccino might be 30% milk, 30% coffee, 30% milk foam. So, mm -hmm. and this is what we're going to get good at to coffee art. So, <gasps> yes. so yes. we're going to we're going to get good at this over time. Another true or false question: Ooh. The darker the bean, the more the caffeine. Is that true or false? 
to rhyme, so it's gonna be true, right? Don't have a thing in it. Oh, it's a Nothing. I'm going to say bumps. But you can't not. I'm going to go truing. Yeah, you want to go truing. Truing. Okay. Close. Yeah. Yes. So the, the colour of the vein just relates to how long it's, it's roasted for. Mm -hmm. um, and the type of vein to a, to a certain extent. So lightly roasted coffee gives it it's a bit more, it's a bit lighter in the body, but it's a bit, you can taste the flavours a little bit more. Darker roasted coffee is they just, they roast it till the vein cracks and then they keep roasting and it'll crack again. And um, they, they come out more oilier and the flavour takes on sort of the, the flavour of the roast as opposed to the flavour of the bean. Um, most, most coffees we get in Australia are kind of light to medium roast. Coffee etiquette, now this is, see, we don't have this necessarily in Australia, but it's always good when you're in line, you've got to do the right thing. <coughs> I think, well, what we'll do now is we'll go and have a, we'll go and make a cup of coffee and I'll do a little demonstration. But I just wanted to point out, we're going to be using, obviously, a coffee machine and a grinder, so we're going to do our beans. And those are the key other pieces of equipment that we'll need. So the group is what the coffee goes into, and that's what we attach to the machine. Uh, the tamper is used to just compress the coffee a little bit, not too much. And obviously the milk jug and the thermometer is just getting that milk to the right temperature. Okay. Put your hand up if you've done this. No. Oh, I don't drink coffee. Have you never done a Tim Tam Slam? Oh, we need to do a no, Tim Tam Slam challenge. Tim Tam Slam. Oh, any questions? No. no. Let's make coffee. Oh, it is. Do you want to need a separate? Yeah, I think so.